Welcome back to A Little Slice of Heaven. Good morning, y'all. Yes, I am at the same camp, and can you blame me? I will be staying here for my entire allotted time. This is uh, dispersed camping, free camping, and I am allowed to stay here for 10 days. I will be staying here for the entire 10 days, not only to save on fuel costs, which are ginormous right now, but also because it is so beautiful. I will have a hard time leaving even when it comes time to leave. And as I said, I doubt that any of you would blame me for doing so. Hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing a little bit more of this place. <laughs> I have a fun day planned and it's going to start with an awesome hike. And this hike has a different and interesting mode of transportation to get to the trailhead. So I'm very excited. I will also be showing you the modification that I did on the truck. But before that, it is time for breakfast. And this morning I'm making chocolate chip pancakes. I could have sworn I bought chocolate chip mix, but apparently I bought buttermilk. They'll still be good. Ouch, ouch, step my toe. All right, the flip. Yes. The first one's never that great. <laughs> Second one is definitely better. Mm, mm, mm. Real quick, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, the Anchor 757 Power Station. I haven't mentioned it on the channel before, but even though I have my trailer, I'll be setting up my truck for overlanding as a camper. I'm getting a cap for the back. This anchor is not only going to help me do the build on the inside by powering my power tools, but will also power all my equipment and gear and even a refrigerator once I have it all set up. The Anchor 757 has the most advanced, long-lasting batteries. Premium LFP batteries will remain in a healthy state even after 3,000 complete charge cycles, with six times longer battery lifespan than the industry average. It comes with a five-year guarantee for peace of mind. It will even outlast the warranty of your other electronic devices. With a recharge from 0 to 80% in just one hour, HyperFlash Recharge uses bi-directional inverter technology with 92% charging conversion rate. This bad boy has 1500 watt output power and 1229 watt hour capacity. Home appliances that can be charged include portable fridges, fans, coffee makers, microwaves, and more. This is your worry-free power supply for three to five day trips or emergency outages. If this is more power than you need, check out the Anchor 521 and 535 powerhouse with the same long lasting batteries, but smaller capacity. Once again, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, the Anchor 757 Power Station. If you'd like one of these bad boys for yourself, click the link in the description below. Now back to the show. I had read about some hikes where you take a boat shuttle across the Redfish Lodge Lake starting at the Redfish Lodge Marina and I thought that sounded pretty cool. What a way to get to the trailhead and I love being on the water. I looked forward to the boat ride as much as I did the hike. It began as a chilly morning. The temperature swings were as much as 50 degrees, the 30s in the morning and the 80s later in the afternoon.
such a gorgeous morning. I've just taken the shuttle over from Redfish Lake where there are lots of hiking trails on the other side. I couldn't think of a better way to start the day. The hike was gorgeous, and now it was time to take the boat back to the marina. So this is it. This is one of the things that brought me to Idaho. I happened to find this cap, this camper shell for sale. It was out of Boise and the seller was nice enough to actually deliver it to my camp. All of this stuff was taking up the back seat of the cab of the truck and now it's back here and I have room to spare. My back seats are empty. I've been looking for one of these. I think I mentioned it early on that I was probably going to get a cap for the truck. And yeah, I found it. This is gonna open up a lot of opportunity for me. I will be able to take the truck into more remote locations that I probably won't wanna take the trailer. I'm going to set this up with a bed back here and just a kind of a camping setup. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet still in the very early stages of planning, but it's very exciting. One of the things that I wanna clarify and kind of bust the myth on is that people thought that with my truck camper, I was going to way more remote locations and now that I have the trailer, I wasn't gonna be able to do that. I even had a, a viewer tell me that I was not going to be allowed to go to certain places because they don't allow towables. I have never heard of that in my entire time on the road, nor has anybody that I've talked to. It just doesn't exist. The thing that I wanna clarify is that with the truck camper on this truck, there were definitely many places that I would not take that rig. My entire life was inside that camper and I was not gonna go on any crazy four by four roads with it. And I've never even had to put this into four wheel drive in any of the locations that I've gone to with the uh, camper on top. So I was 
you know, very mindful when I was switching over from the truck camper to the trailer that I would still be able to get into the majority of places that I wanted to get into. And that is the case. I mean, as you can see, I'm at this beautiful location and it wasn't exactly easy getting in here. There's a very steep road that's kind of rutted out that I had to pull it up onto. And uh, yeah, I'm still able to get to all the beautiful locations that I wanna to get to. However, there probably are some locations that I would not have taken the truck camper either that I can now take this with the camper shell on top and you know a little bit of a camping setup in the back. So I'm really excited about that. So in actuality, getting the travel trailer has now opened up even more possibilities for me and I'm really excited. This is dinner tonight. The days have been very warm as I know that they have been all across the country and in a lot of places around the world. Uh, so tonight I'm just going to cook outside so I don't heat this place up. I'm going to cook some brats over the fire. I don't think I've mentioned it on the channel yet, but I can use my air conditioning with my solar setup. My AC runs off of my solar power. It's absolutely incredible. I've been using it during the hottest portions of the day when I'm here at the trailer and then it just re my batteries recharge the next day and I can use it again. I'm absolutely blown away that I can use my air conditioning on the power of the sun. Today I decided to visit a beautiful spot I had come across during my exploration and spend a little more time there. I just want to say when I come to this spot I actually scoped out this spot a couple of days ago and decided to come back here because it looked like such a perfect spot to have lunch at it really reminds me of the movie a river runs through it this is the Yankee Fork Creek off of the Yankee Fork Road quintessential mountain creek scenery really beautiful Just a tad bit windy today. This place is just so mind-blowingly beautiful, I can't stand it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign off on this video here. 
I have really enjoyed my stay. I hope that you enjoyed exploring more of central Idaho with me. I know that I'm definitely not sick of it. I would really be curious to know what you think about the modification on the truck. Uh, how you feel about it? Are you a fan? What are your thoughts on the new camper shell? I'm not sure where I'm going to be landing next week or, you know, for next week's adventure. So make sure that you stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next Sunday. Thank you all so much for your support. Love you all and I'll see you soon.